Today, learn how to create your NFT collection for the Palm Network on 5 minutes or less. Let's start by adding Palm to your MetaMask. So, let's go to Configure, connect your account, and once connected, click on Add a Network. To get your new tokens, go to Token Bridge and select the token you want to exchange. Once you have the phone, select the amount and start the transfer. This process could take a while, so on the meantime, if you're working with a big NFT collection or marketplace, step up your blockchain game with Morales Pro. With twice the computing power and more requests, you can handle even the most demanding projects. Plus, enjoy unlimited daily records on your streams with automatic retries for a seamless experience. And with more replays and longer retention for your historic streams, you'll never miss a beat. Don't settle for basic, upgrade to Morales Pro today and take your projects to the next level. Another way to get Palm tokens is to use its request form. Just fill up your information and select the network you want. All networks is cool because they also send you mainnet tokens for free. Select this option because these are the ones we are going to use on this tutorial. Once you have your Palm tokens on the mainnet, let's go to Network Details and keep open this tab because we are going to use a lot of this information. So if the Palm network is to deploy NFTs, we need an NFT contract, right? So here I have a pretty standard contract using the ERC721 standard with really basic stuff for NFTs. And if you haven't created an NFT contract before, go to Open Zeppelin Docs and use their standard. They are pretty easy to use and the process is really straightforward. Also, don't forget to check out the tutorial we have step by step to create a NFT. So for now, let's suppose you already have your NFT contract prepared. Now we need to deploy this using the PAN network. Let's return to the network details and use all the information for the mainnet we have over here. As you already have the Palm tokens, this process is going to be really straightforward. On this tutorial, we are using Brownie as our Python smart contract framework, but if you want to know how to deploy it on the JavaScript Vance, Hardhat and Truffle, don't forget to check out the documentation. So it seems the Palm network works with an Infura endpoint, so let's go to infura.com and copy the Palm endpoint on one of your projects. Once you have it, let's add this network to our brownie. Let's use the command brownie network zag for the Ethereum EVM. The keyword is going to be pawn. The host is going to be the one we just copied from Infura. The chain ID is this one. You can get it from the main information on the pawn documentation. And also we are going to specify the block explorer over here. Let's click enter and easy as that, we have add pawn to our networks. So using a really simple deploy script, let's deploy this on the pawn network. And in just 8 seconds, we deployed our contract. If we check the transaction hash on the Palm Log Explorer, we can verify our contract was successfully deployed on the network. So now we are ready to start minting our NFTs. By the way, if we are creating NFTs, we need a place to store our beautiful art, right? Well, Morales has its own IPFS API, which you can use to store all your images and NFT metadata. You just have to connect to the upload folder endpoint for the IPS API, we have a specific video on that, so don't forget to check it out. For this tutorial, please check the attached comment because you are going to find all the code we are using on this lesson. Here we have two different scripts. One to take all the images we are going to store in this image folder and upload it to IPFS, generating them an address. And also a second one, which is also going to take that images and you can add here all the descriptions you want, the powers, and all the traits you want for your NFTs and it's going to generate all the IPFS URIs one by one for you. So just don't forget to add your Morales API key on the M5. So now we have all we need to start minting our NFTs. Let's take the contract address and the contract ABI on our deployed contracts and also import the URIs from the script I just showed you. With that, we can start using Ether.js and start minting our NFTs. So once you connected your wallet, select the beacon you want and click on mint. Palm network fees are too small that you are not going to notice any difference on your balance after the minting process. And now the only thing left is to get the information of those NFTs. And for that we are going to use Morales API endpoint get NFT owners by contract. Let's use that on our backend project, providing the address as input, the chain is going to always be Palm, and the rest of the parameters are going to be optional. So we create a new view called get owners and on the front end side, we call that endpoint every time we click on the get my NFTs button. We are going to have the information of all the NFTs that this specific wallet has for this contract, as easy as that. And that was it for today's tutorial. 
We really hope you enjoyed this. Please remember all the code for this lesson is on the attached comment. Don't forget to check out Morales Pro Plans and see you on the next occasion.